$240 million. That's how much it costs to fight wildfires in Oregon. We got a briefing today on what was an especially bad fire season and whether the trend will continue. But the big question is, will we have enough resources next year? You know, our Chris Holmstrom is getting answers on why this season was so much worse and what we can expect for next year. Fire experts say it is unprecedented to have such large wildfires back to back. Not only are they burning more land, but they're also getting tougher to fight. Oregon wildfire season 2015, one of the worst in decades. This year alone, more than 2,200 fires. Those fires burning more than 600,000 acres and destroying more than 60 homes. The largest fire, the Canyon Creek Complex fire in John Day. This fire burns more than 100,000 acres and destroyed nearly 40 homes. There's no words to say that this was my life. I loved it here. I was there as Carolyn Hodge came back to what used to be her home. It was a similar story for her neighbor down the road. So fire is entering into where we live. Doug Graff is the chief of fire protections for Oregon Department of Forestry. He says this year was definitely a challenge, especially since wildfires are not staying in the forest, instead moving through communities. Is this the new normal? It, it's hard to say that uh, the trends go up and down in terms of fire seasons. But if you look at the last three years, it's obvious changes are happening. There's a new 10-year average without a doubt. The trend uh, to more complex fire seasons is clear. And more complex means higher cost to battle the blazes. In fact, this year we had help from firefighters in 35 states. It's these concerns the Oregon Department of Forestry is raising to state leaders. As we continue drought conditions, uh, we're, we're concerned uh, that more challenging fire seasons are ahead of us. Uh, and our hope is that, you know, that condition turns in the near future. Reporting in Salem, I'm Chris Holmstrom for Coin6 News.